Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide, and it is back! Yes, the Game Pass Challenge is back, where I'll attempt to do as many Game Pass games as possible, and we start off with a cracker in Doom 64. This was developed by Night Dive Studios, Midway, and ID Software. It was published by Bethesda Softworks, and is usually available for just £3.99 slash $4.99, but it's still on Xbox Game Pass, so get it good, man. I mean, everyone's heard of Doom and Doom Guy, right? Lots of alien monsters, you have tons of guns and big badass stuff and kill them, etc, etc. It's all fun. And so, yes, I am aware that obviously a lot of people have already done this, but for those that haven't, the achievements are easy enough and especially easy with the help of a password system we will be using to blast through. Uh, now, this isn't a cheating system, so you'll still have to be pretty much okay enough at first-person shooters. Either way, you'll be looking at around one to two hours to get this done. Could be less, really, depending on your skill and ability. Personally, my skill and ability is not amazing, so it took, still took me around 70 minutes to do, and that was a bit of, with a bit of restarting, etc. So, with that being said, then, let's do it! And the first thing we're going to do as we start, we're going to go to options and we're going to go down to password. So press the A button here and the password that we're going to put in is W83M. So W83M 7H20. So 7H20. If I know where it is, there it is. Um, BDY0. So that is B. There we go, D, Y, and zero, and then zero, okay, there we go, Got the, I got the message eventually, and then N, nine, V, B, so it's N, nine, V, B, and we will spin, so we'll start straight away here, so click in the left stick, and that'll put the auto run on, press the right bumper, we'll have, um, basically max health and max weapons. Now what we're going to do is scroll over until we see this one. This is called the Unmaker, which is basically the best, uh, it's the best weapon in the game. Uh, but the first, before we nip outside, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and grab two guns. The first one, which was just by the door, which is the Unmaker for finding it. And then we're going to grab another gun, which is just to the, uh, <laughs> if I could just stop messing around for a moment, it's in the, to the left of us. So directly to the left of us. By the way, you press A to open up doors and stuff. There it is. Oh, sorry, it was to the right of us. Uh, but that is the two weapon-related achievements that we're going to grab already. So the BFG and the Unmaker. So once those two are done and out of the way, um, you've already obviously already grabbed the orb. Press the A button to jump out. Now, what you need to do then, there are three little... Um, Pillars, shall we call them. And I have to do this in a particular order. So this one here is not the first one. Uh, this yellow gold one. Uh, so what we're going to do is, eventually, I'm going to take a little left. There we go. So right behind here, we're going to press the A button. Some enemies are going to spawn. Uh, turn around and hit this next blue one. And then immediately turn around and then go back to the yellow and gold one. Uh, if you see any uh, enemies, just try shooting them down. And... Eventually, there we go. So with the, all these three done now, just shoot the crap out of everything. And again, because this is the best weapon of the game, you should easily have a near problem with that. As soon as all the enemies are done, the main boss is going to appear right in the middle. So just keep pressing the right trigger right here at the boss. Don't try dodging it. You should have no problems here. And there we go. As soon as that one's done, you'll get the mother, mother, may I, may I kill you dead achievement. And that is for defeating the mother of all demons on the absolution. So, flying through it, and I can't believe that it's still rare achievement stuff. Uh, but that's, uh, well, that's exactly what it is. So, we are good, man. We are good. So, finally, the mother of all demons is D-E-E-A-O-D. -E so, next up then, what we can do now is press the start button. And we can go back to the main menu. We're going to pop in yet Am's another password. Let's go to options. And again, password. Press the X button to delete things. And then this time, what we're going to do is type in YRXM. So YRXM 7HVC. So that's 7HVC. 
Come on, cow. Oh, there we go. There we go. Wait, I mean, Mr. Hunter. Uh, so, 7H VC. And is it dark or am I just going blind that, uh, you know, I can't apparently see anything? Then BCMZ. So, BCMZ and then FJVB. Now, what will what you need to do immediately is turn around and go to the right because these this is one of the big creatures we need to kill. So immediately from here, uh, keep scrolling to the uh, with the right bumper to get the unmaker, and then just go and find him again, and then just keep shooting him until he is purely absolutely dead. And then this will get us two achievements here. Uh, so just keep shooting him again. Try and avoid his rockets, but with that one done. We will get the rip and tear achievement for killing a cyber demon. And that was fun achievement for finishing a fun level. So that is definitely the easiest way to do that then. Um, but yeah, so if you uh, need to restart for whatever particular reason, don't restart the level because you actually lose all your things. Um, so you'll just have to go back to the options, click in main menu and uh, pop the password in again. Otherwise, that's not so bad. So as long as you were able to just get out with the cyber demon's sight immediately... Well, that one's slicey and easy. Right, so now we're going to have to do uh, another level, and that's fine. But we're going to go to New Game, Doom 64, and Be Gentle. So we're not going to do any codes and passwords or anything this time. We're just going to chill out for five. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do then is we'll drop down, grab a shotgun. There's going to be an enemy around the corner, two enemies around the corner. So again, obviously right trigger to shoot. There's another third one here, so you might as well kill him as well. Bump, uh, grab some health there if you needed it. And then go back and go in through this door. There's another two enemies in here, so shoot these two as well. And then what we're going to do is go up the left set of side steps. There's going to be another enemy, enemy that appears there, but we'll just go straight over, press the A button to open this up, and we'll get the armor, which will get us the secret sleuth achievement. Um, here, here comes the guy, there we go. Deader than a dead thing and a dead, dead dog, dig, dead dog. Right, so now we have to go and locate the secret level called Hectic. Now, there are a bunch of barrels around. Try not to shoot any, if that's possible. Uh, I ended up accidentally shooting two, which is fine, but try not to shoot any of the barrels. So when we climb up here, a uh, big enemy, big roid enemy is going <laughs> to, steroid enemy, is going to appear. Turn to the left, shoot this guy. And there's like, going to be another guy around the corner here. Ah, oh, straight in the back and butt. Uh, and there's one more here, and then that should be it for this top level. Uh, right in the middle here is the blue key, which is what we need. But before leaving, let's turn around, go to the left there, open up this secret compartment to grab the mega armor, and that is a barrel we need to shoot later on. So now we can head back down, go to the left, go through the blue doors, another enemy in here, so what we'll kill him. Uh, as you can see, I accidentally shot the barrel, which is fine, so shoot these two enemies dead as well, because they can throw stuff at you. Climb up the stairs to the left, another two enemies here, bam, bam, bam. Right, on the left is a, um, we're going to interact with this, but when we turn around, there's going to be three steroid-infused angry people that didn't get enough protein in their diets for the day, who's going to try and kill you for it, which is a bit harsh. So, there we go, there's the third one. This should only take three hits to go down, because you're on B gentle difficulty. And then from here, uh, just go straight to the back and press this button, turn around, head back to the left, and go down to the left, there's another enemy here. There we go. Ah, <laughs> shot the wall instead. Now, in this next room is another three steroid-infused, not-enough-protein bodybuilders. That's exactly what they look like when they don't get enough protein through the day, honestly. It's, it's incredible. So, kill these three. By the way, if you're not amazing at first-person shooters, you can just save the game uh, anywhere and anytime. But go through this door. Do not exit. Just kill this enemy. Do not exit. Um, and then we can turn back around and get the hell out of here. So, yeah, save scumming is high, very, it's pretty important in this game if you're not amazing at first-person shooters. Um, so just save the game, and if something happens, just reload it. Right, back at the beginning, shoot the first barrel there, go down to the left, and in through the left door again, there's another barrel that we're going to shoot here. Now, it's important why we're doing this in a particular order. Um, but as we go up, we're going to go back up. And then immediately, we're going to turn around, turn around, shoot another barrel. And then go to the left, and in the secret Mega Armor area, there's the next barrel we're going to shoot. Right, mate. That's all good. Give me. We're going to drop down, go back through to the left of the blue door. Remember, there was a barrel right there. 
just in case, I obviously shot it annoyingly. Then go to the left, into the big room, there was another barrel here as well, which I accidentally shot. But again, it shouldn't, it should, it should be okay if you shot one or two. Um, just run straight across, uh, sometimes you'll make it, sometimes you won't. And then press it, and then quickly go down to the right, drop down, shoot the barrel here. And then it'll uh, let you go back up. Oh my good. If you did miss it, just hit that but same button again. And you'll be able to nip down with no problems, mate. Right. Uh, we're going to go back down into the sort of last area now where the three steroid munchers were. Back through the exit. Again, there's a barrel here. So just be careful. Shoot it. Do not hit the exit. And then we're all good. Back out. Go into this room here to drop down and shoot yet another barrel. And we can get back up. And then from here, what we can do now is, once again, run straight across, hit the switch, jump down and go forward, and go through the teleporter. Now, you've got to be quick with this bit. Hit the barrel here, turn directly to your right, straight through the door, to the left, and that is what will get you the RVNH3CT1CD3MO, question mark, question mark, question mark, achievement. So... Yeah, a uh, few more steps in that one to do, but <laughs> it's not so bad. So that's uh, that's all right, that. That's all good. That is quite fit. Uh, now, this is the uh, secret room where you can't actually grab anything because everything kills you dead. So, wait, well, this is fantastic, right? Not. It's not. Why do things want to kill me? Anyway. Time to do a thing where we're going to finish a level on the Watch Me Die skill level, which is basically the biggest, or the, you know, basically hard difficulty. So, what we are going to do here, we're obviously going to go back into the password level, and we are going to type in uh, YWW47HVDBC. L G, so B C L G, and then R K V B, so Rocket Kyle Valtteri Bottas, uh, <laughs> R K V B. Right. So what we're going to do? You have to be again. Make sure to get your Uni Maker up, your Unmaker. Then as soon as you drop down, shoot the crap out of all these enemies. Now we are going to need to basically kill these enemies. Um, try not to be so stingy with the. Oh, try not to use and waste all your ammo here. Just make sure to kill that uh, the, the big demon guy. Accidentally dropped into the river. But we do need... So there you go. I did just kill him. Uh, but we do need to get that green radiation thing from this part of the river. There's another couple of enemies in here. So make sure to kill these ones. And that'll be it. So when we go to the right, we're going to be transported. So we can uh, dive up. Go to the left. And there's going to be a big fat boy right here. So get the old uh, buffet breakfast guy. And to the right, there's going to be another buffet breakfast loving bro. Uh, jump, or walk straight across, and hit this switch. Job done. So because we've killed all the enemies now, uh, we've got nothing that's sort of in our way or anything, so basically we can just head straight for that same room. So you've got to dive into the river, go into the transportation device, and straight back up. Now we're going to take a right this time, hit this switch, and now two cyber demons are going to appear. So try and keep your distance from them. They're going to come out of this door on the left. So try and keep your distance and try to try to avoid their arrow, uh, their missiles, because they can obviously hurt you lots. Um, take a left and then just sort of take a right. And again, uh, as long as you sort of were, you know, kind of preservative with your ammo, you should uh, kill this cyber demon with all of the unmakers. If not, just uh, keep scrolling through the guns and smash that one out. Otherwise. That is the Escape Artist Achievement, so it's not too bad, is it, mate? It's not too bad. Tito, 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 potato. Right, so now we should only have two achievements left, if you would like to see them. Which, uh, something tells me... Something tells me you do. Right, what we are going to do... Now, this is supposed to be roughly about another four or five minute level where you've got to kill the demons. Uh, find some pillars, and then you can go ahead and fight the boss. But what we're going to do, we're going to type in this password, and that'll put us straight... It, basically, we can then just open the boss door straight away. So, it's QSSM, so QSSM 7H14, so 7H14, BDH6, so BDH6, and then YSVB. 
So again, make sure that your auto runs on, make sure that you've got the unmaker on right here. And then what you can do as soon as we nip through the orb and drop down, and then we can just do the same thing again. So hit this open. Now, instead of having to find the pillars, kill these first couple of enemies and go straight into this part. So now we can just hit the pillars. There is going to be quite a lot of enemies. So again, just be careful. Uh, go forward, hit this pillar, and then the boss is now going to appear on the map somewhere. So what we can do is just turn around. Because the screen is like this, we are, uh, we've are we got currently got invincibility. So just keep your eye, for, your eye out for the boss. He's going to appear on the map somewhere. Um, otherwise, you know, just keep shooting everyone dead as much as you can. Because obviously everything's trying to kill you, which is nice. But he's going to appear just around the corner for me in just a moment. Just a, there he is, look. So once you see him, literally just shoot him dead. Uh, avoid his little fireballs, but he shouldn't take too long to go down. And there we go, that's that one done. And that one is called, Walk in the Path of Dostanir, yeah. Without the uh, crappy, terrible singing voice, of course, from me. <laughs> so, one more left to get. See, I told you it's not too bad. It only took me 70 minutes because, uh, <laughs> well, the uh, first-person shooter in me kind of sucks. But that's fine, just fine. Right, I would not be expected to be torn from hell so soon after your fateful decision. Get it back there was your only concern. The plans of the sister res resurrector to exterminate you have failed. The grim vision takes hold of your mind as the demon carcass is steaming your wake. Stretched before you is a path of peaceful torment, a path through doom. <laughs> Jesus, that was quick. Right, anyway. We're going to head back to the main menu. Go back into the password. And we are just going to do one more little level. And it's a... Uh, it's a nice easy one, not many enemies again, so V87L, so V87L, then 7C28, so 7C28, BDT1, so big donkey titties one, and then, sorry, and then 59VB, so 59 Valtteri Bottas, right, as we begin, again, make sure that you swap over to your Unmaker, the big red one. And there we go, because immediately, as soon as we begin, there's going to be a couple of enemies right outside. So, uh, head to the right, kill this guy, and then if we go around, there's going to be... Uh, there's the next one. <laughs> you lose, and a whole bunch of flying skulls trying to, well, fly at you, because that's their only job, I suppose. Uh, so, just kill all these ones. <laughs> Sound like you're having a... Fake orgasm or something. <laughs> and then, um, after you kill all these enemies, a blue key should appear. Not here, but just around the corner. So, there we go. Grab that one. Now, um, as soon as we enter, there's going to be a couple of invisible enemies. Two, to be precise, so kill those. Uh, interact here and click the middle sort of poster thing, and then we can drop down. And then, from here, there's going to be another couple of enemies. Uh, but what we need to do is interact with the leftmost side wall. And then, we'll get a switch that'll come down. We can interact with that. Two or three enemies, so two big boys and an invisible enemy is going to appear here. So just be, there you go, you sneaky little butt here. Right, uh, once that one is done, have a look at this switch behind us, there we go. Head up to the left to kill another enemy. And then if we go up the stairs, we're going to go all the way around to the right. And we're just going to kill another enemy here. Dead, dead, dead. Dead. Right, now what you have to do with this bit then. There are two switches on the wall that we need to grab. One over there and one directly in front of us. As you can just see, it disappeared. So if it does disappear, what we can do is just nip outside slightly. There we go. And then what you need to do is carefully edge your way in. And then just shoot it. Or just quick as you can, shoot that one. Turn to the left and the other one should be there. Once that's shot, the pillar in the middle will drop down. Giving us the purple key. And getting us the final achievement of the game. So, there we go, guys and gals. So, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game, because Doom is always a classic. I uh, hope you enjoyed the guide and that it helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. A uh, big shout-out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon and my YouTube members as well. Really, really do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next Game Pass Challenge game, guys and gals. Big old love.